Stay for your post assignment. Focus, go, go, Lieutenant. go. Captain. Everything set? Yes, yes, everything set, Captain. How many on your team? Triangular, sir, three. All right. That's just what I needed today. Let's do it. What happened? Do you mind telling me what's going on here? Perimeter, Captain, your call. All right, keep the perimeter, Sergeant. Well, how, how long is this going to take to clear? Watch the flank. Left flank going up. Right. Oh, yeah, that's it. I got to get some coding here. Blow the tower off the world, OK? Hey, That's it. That's it. You're safe. You're tweaking, Dyson. Can you even think straight? You didn't have to kill my Ling. She knew that you were an extortionist, and she knew you weren't dead. I guess you did have to kill her. Are you kidding me? She was as good a lady. That's about it. She was irritating as hell when her light went into the air. I used to date you to scrub my engine away. And then I tried to break it into my house and try to rob my pinky bag. Take him out! <sighs> Joseph, solving the case? This is evidence. You know I don't believe in mentos. Justice is all I want. You do realize that if we chose to, we could live a life completely free of want and despair. I want to balance the scales. I know we both have a dark side. Maybe one day we can bring that into the light. That's the only way I know how to be. Your efforts as an outside security advisor are duly noted and appreciated. Wow. Well, thank you, ma'am. If you had to, if you had to choose between keeping the job, please. That day will never come. With this fake war, I will give up absolutely everything to do with you. Absolutely everything. I couldn't go on if you were gone. Don't answer that. I've got to. Has a civil servant finished painting you for crudeness? Can I order tacos for dinner tonight? Hey, vinegar face! I'll have a protein shake later. Thank you. She can kiss my ass, both cheeks. <laughs> Just let her know. She didn't mean that. Uh, did you finish wearing a panic room at the mansion? Thank you. Cadme says that Adam is still out there. She's vulnerable. Now, we got cover in here. We got it now, man. We can hurt the bitch bad. But we got to do it now. If you let me adjust your slightly drug addled plan, I might be able to get us maximum damage. Now back off me, Chucky! want to do this for us. Why won't you do this for me? I wish I didn't love you so much. You do love me, don't you? <laughs> of course I do. Now, if we miss the train, we won't get back in time. Why do we have to take the train? I hate it! Can't we just take a cab? What money? Well, maybe we can get our hands on something. Over there. <laughs> They look lost. Why do I always have to do it, Tony? Because you're the best at what you do, baby. With your velvet tongue. I'll meet you at the Cowling Station. You grab a cab from there. I'm gone. Hi, I'm lost too. Uh, 
Can I look at the map with you? Oh, no, we're not lost. We're just trying to find our bearings. We've been trying to find our bearings for 15 minutes. And we always end up back here. It's this damn GPS wacky around here. This is my first time in San Francisco. And they told me I couldn't leave without seeing Chinatown. So, we're right here on the map. Where do you guys want to go? We're trying to get back to our hotel, the Fairmont. Why, I'm staying at the Mark Hopkins. OK, let's see. The quickest way to get around town is on the Cowling subway. And the map says that there's a station two blocks up. So I could take you there. <laughs> That's awfully kind of you. Come on, Spencer. How about we just go down to the alley? I mean, I'm tired of walking. I don't know. It looks kind of dangerous to me. Uh, don't worry. I've got protection. Come along now, sugar. Okay. Dude, check it out. Okay, I bet you a million shares no, of Google. Let's get in this chair. Just I bet you a million chair. shares of Google. They do it doggy chair. style. Let's get in this chair real quick. A million shares of Google. They say they do it doggy style. Okay? Two million shares say they do it standing up. <laughs> no way, man. Pull up your portfolio first. There's no time. They're starting to address each other. No way, man. Pause the feed, man. We have enough bandwidth to bust. Come I don't want on. You don't be again. such a chicken shit. I paid you. Yeah, by the time you did pay me, the stock was worthless. Hey, you know that past behavior is no indicator of future performance. Okay, I'm no good bet. for it. No bet. All right, you know what? You, find, you, you are such a pussy. You know that? Here. Want that portfolio? Satisfied? Wait. This isn't even your account, you moron. See, this is why chicks don't like you. Size matters. The size of your portfolio matters. Here comes Lasker. The server in 3C is acting pokey. Nobody knows how many phishing attacks are running, and we can't find the chopper that was circling Treasure Island. The chopper is refueling at the Navy Yard. Some rube is trying to run a stealth DNS on 3C, but I just kicked him off. And 9,683,217 attacks are running right now. Are you sure? I didn't see you check any of the monitors. And I don't know why you boys insist on using that antique. Well, I have a heads up oh. running all our attacks real time, and this is a collector's item, okay? Don't hate. Bye. 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 Alright, get the buffer, let's just go live. What about the bed? Good. Really? Adams, this archaeologist, discovered some ancient porn in the Indian jungle. This must be one of those tantric positions. No bet. No bet. It's a push. Did he just... Oh. I have to requalify at the pistol range. Yeah. How did you make my marksmanship this morning? Oh, four times. Dead center bullseye. So all the redundant servers are offline. I'll be right there. Randolph, there's a crisis at the office. How are the systems here? Randolph. Yes. It's impossible. How can all the accounts be frozen? Check the off world holdings. Everything. All right. I'm ready my shovel for immediate launch.
Alright, there he is. Guy with the brown hair. I'm tired of this, Tony. Why can't we just go south like I keep saying and work on a resort? You know I've always wanted to be one of those mascots. And that's your problem. You're always thinking too low. Haven't things been all right thus far? Just leave the thinking to me, okay? Look. Look. One to one thing hurts. So why are you hurting me now? Come on. Hey, mister. You can use my phone if you want. It's an emergency. I appreciate it. I... Right. <sighs> What's wrong? Um, I certainly hate to impose. Do you, you happen to have a car? It's imperative I get downtown in my office. I'm sorry, I don't. I take the subway. Right. It's the quickest way to get around town. The subway? I completely forgot. Do you happen to know if there's a stop nearby? Yeah, real close. I can show you. Yeah? I was on my way there anyway. <laughs> Just uh, uh, one final question I hate to ask, but I have no money. I assure you, when we get to my office, sure. I'll... Sure. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Jose Santana. Cressida, I'll call you back. Lister, find out what you can about the bombings at Adams Holdings. I've never seen that before. Lister, where's the information on those bombings? I'll get the unit on the scene. <sighs> What's the story, Baker 11? No casualties, but a server fire is completely destroyed. Office phone looks checking for other devices, but it seems like the rest of the building is clean. Feed for the last 24 hours shows nothing odd. Wheeler should parse all the data. We'll let the arson boys with FD take care of this. I'm just worried about Burnett. I can't get anything on the mansion. Let me just, let me just call Randolph. No answer. Okay, get the street cams from outside the mansion. I'm not getting anywhere. I've been offline for almost an hour. Nothing's coming in live. Oh. I'm sure he's all right. He's probably just dealing with the nightmare of losing all his data. It was a coordinated attack. If he's not in his panic room at the mansion, God knows where he is. All right, bring it in. Coach says the new sponsor's coming out with a team edition sports drink and they want us to be the first to try it out, so. Garcia, music! Oh! Okay, if this is how the team's looking to milk us for this new program, uh, you can count me out. Where's my agent? Well, believe it or not, this is my first experience with public transportation. Well, at least it's dry down here. Yeah, but I thought more people would have taken advantage of it. As soon as we get back to my office, I will call your boss. I will explain your tardiness. That's not necessary. I'm kind of between jobs right now. Are you? Well, my organization is always looking for generous, thoughtful people. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe I can more than return the favor. What do you What do you do? This and that, you could kind of say I freelance. I like to travel. Okay. Well. You have a very appealing face. Uh, that's actually an understatement. You're quite beautiful. I mean, maybe something with the public, or? Economy, mister. I am this not. This is our train. Okay. It's actually quite nice. Not my fault, Tony. He escaped. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. It makes me think you don't love me anymore. Come on. 
Come on, baby. Don't worry about it. You're the best. We'll catch up, buddy. I love you. No matter what. Stop snoring me! God, why can't I live without you? Whoa. Trading halted on Adam's holding stuff. No, no, the listing disappeared. Look. Somebody hacked the exchange. You mean they hacked into the mainframe and deleted it from the secure database? Right, we had no intel on any threats against Adams. If the object was extortion, they would have contacted him before all this went down, wouldn't they? Crazy shit, man. This trash is our latest packet on Adams, too. Guess I won't be getting that new Z-Cube 720. Hey. We could bootleg his bedroom video feed his porn. And have Disney on our backs? Uh -huh. That's a good idea. You know they have that <laughs> download market lock tight, man? Come on. Let's just wait and see how this whole thing plays out, okay? The market for business intel and Adam's holdings is just experiencing a slight downturn. People could still be betting money either way on them. Nothing yet from the bugs. Whoever hit Berna Adams hit him hard. Ever since he got locked out of his life, he has completely fallen off the grid, even on the big board. He'll turn up. I mean, how long do you think the richest man in San Francisco can stay missing? The mansion's in lockdown mode. Adams and Randolph are probably in the panic room. But the lockdown wouldn't affect my master as PPD codes and they didn't work either. We're gonna have to assume the worst. Here, back away. I'm blasting it open. Backup battery's kicking in. There he is entering the garage. Come on. Let's switch the whole damn place. Call and train Willow. We've got to find her next. Lieutenant, can't you call in Ortega? No, I'm at home right now searching for Burnett. No, there are no signs of foul play, but... Yes, sir. Right away. I got the page, too. Uniforms are on their way here to secure the scene. Don't know. Why haven't you called? Anything yet on Burnett? No, Cressida, not since the attack. The team's in his offices. Mayor's office just got an email from a group claiming responsibility for the murders. I'm sending it to you now. CITD is running it down, but we don't have any hits on our database yet. It looks like it was written by somebody tripping on cue. Probably a crank. Wait, there's a watermark. Pull up those DB photos. I mean, the tattoo's on the next. It's the exact same mark. Let Choi track down that email. Have Collier find out when those tattoos were made. So far, it's our only real clue we have to this case. Have Willow meet us at the mansion. We're done here. You two are one beautiful couple. Well, that's Thank all I can you. say. Thank you. <laughs> so what's, what's up? I hear a rumor that you're planning your own league. Yes, we are. Yeah. Check John's idea. We're trying to... Uh, Incorporate a lot of our ideas that we thought about years ago to make us to a very successful place for ourselves. I gotta get video of this. Too late. We got here before us. I let you never miss 
Who's here? Come on. You picked the local. You know we beat him. I've never done it like this before. Tell me. I'm scared. Can you do it this time, please? You'll be alright. You'll be alright. You're almost there. I love you. Okay, this scanner's not working, but you don't you don't look good. replaced after an accident. I'm 60% organic, so I still got my bio papers. I just, I need to walk it off, is all, really. I, I don't like people I don't know poking around inside of me, okay? I just wanted to make sure that you got here safely. Bye! Don't be sympathetic. I promised you a job. You helped me out. At least come inside, let me return the favor. That's all. You just help me right now. So we're even. The universe is all balanced. Your yin-yang is all correct. Wait, are you hitting on me? You are, no, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm not hitting on you. Look, I'm married. I'm happily married. Uh -huh. I was simply concerned for your well-being after I saw the impact. I came to your aid. Uh -huh. That's that's it. Well, no one else on the street seemed to care. I sent you a video game files which was size and which is Okay, I'm not married. Mister. I'm not interested in getting involved with married men. I just always get suspicious of you being here. But you're so insistent on refusing my effort to help you. Fine. I'll grant your wishes. Mm -hmm. I just want to know that I appreciate what you've done for me. Again? Do you remember what it's like when you were like that? Now do this for me. Stop it, Tony! Stop it! You're smothering me again! You're gonna get your medicine. You just gotta do this one thing for me, okay? Face, where the hell are you? Maybe Randolph's unconscious somewhere our scanners can't reach. If I could get anywhere on the system, the security logs would tell us if shots out of the privacy range. Didn't the uniforms do a complete canvas of the property? All they found was some blood and fiber on the fence, but it was compromised by the glass when we shot open the gate. Crime Lab is working on reconstructing the samples and should have the results within 24 hours. Randolph and Burnett, both gone. Five minutes earlier, I might have gone missing along with them. System meltdown or out of server farm out of cascade effect. Cause all the systems here to fry as well. Best I can do is scrub the jobs back at HQ. Work here. Fewer distractions. Have Collier check on the tattoos from the two DBs from Candlestick Park. Emmy, at the Big Hoop, found the same marks on the bodies of those War Dogs players. Turns out they were made by a branding iron, not a tattoo needle, and the killer sent another email taking responsibility. As if I don't have enough balls to juggle today. Why not add a psycho serial killer with a grudge against married jocks? Jeez. Are you sure it was a man? Because from this video feed, it's hard to tell. It could have been a man. 
could have been a woman with all that stuff on. Hard to tell. Hit me with that oxygen tank, though. Hard enough to knock me out. Tanks in the bay by now. Crime Lab is processing the footprints from the hardwood floor, but there were thousands. Matching with everyone at the game that night could take overnight, at least. I use night vision goggles. It's really too bad the speed's on infrared. You know, it's a long shot, but have Choi take this to CITD and see if they can enhance it for us. Can, can I go now? Wait, Tony, come back! Please, don't do this to me, Tony! Oh, God. Oh, come on, Mr. Wake up. Please. Come on. You gotta get me to a drugstore. Oh, my God. What's going on? You don't remember? No, oh, it's... This is kind of funny. My, my hand is splitting. Oh, well, you gotta get me to a drugstore, please. Okay. Help me up. Help me up. There's a drugstore around the corner. You can get me some medicine there. Come on. You gotta let me wing on you. Ooh. Whoever fried out and served uh -huh. evil on his ass. The cascade effect was like a tsunami. Still going, too. What? Oh, my F God. What? Dude, the cascade is probing our ports, looking to come this way. Stop it. Don't you see me trying shit? Okay, step off, Austin. Awesome. Jake. Step off! Step off! One more! What just happened? I was uh, running a sim on our servers, testing the integrity of our firewall. It helped. I didn't see anything about that on the schedule. Well, after the problem we had this morning with the Pokey server, we thought it would be a good idea. We can undo all the protections we just implemented. No, no, just keep me in the loop. I'm tired. I got you, I got you. Oh, you look like shit. I feel like it too. All right, I'm gonna go get your meds. What do you take? About. Your medicine, I'll go get it. I need a Drizapan inhaler, and you should probably get some bandages for that face. Here. Just, oh. I better handle this. Here, just no, 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 relax. Uh, you can get it. I'll go to the dresser. It's fine. The money is gone. I have a hole in my pocket. It must have fallen there back in the alley, or while we were walking over here, or uh, who knows? Just get me to the drugstore. I'll handle this. I'll figure it out. Oh. I actually have no idea. My hands just sort of got a mind of their own. Okay, this one's empty. Okay. Give me a lipstick, too. Okay. And a package of sour nipples. Okay. Require some stuff and then we'll be out. Where's your inhalers? Oh. Here we go. Oh. What do you? Take it. This ain't no hospital. You two better pay for that and leave. And don't come back. Who do you think you are? You can boss us around. Don't trouble yourself with this. I can, I can handle this. I'm sorry, sir. We're not quite yet finished here. The lady requires a lipstick. Would you be so kind of enough to fetch it for us? What shade would you prefer? Mauvry Madness. Mauvry Madness is the shade she prefers. <laughs> Thank you. You two really must be true. <laughs> You're coming with me. Take your hand off of her. Oh, you don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. You don't take your hand off the lady. I don't want any trouble. Okay. Hey, 
your toy cop just roughed us up. Look at him. He's bleeding. Lucky we have these bandages. That was fun. Well, the guy should have touched you. Oh, whatever. That guy was a creep. They were just looking for a reason to fire that. You should that. be fired. He didn't hurt you, did he? You're different, aren't you? What do you mean I'm different? Do you remember anything that happened to us in that alley? I don't, all right. It's still fuzzy to me. It just is. Do you remember where we live? I'd love to tell you otherwise, but I don't. The memories just aren't coming back to me quickly enough. I'd love to know about my life. I recognize you. I do. I know you're my wife. I know that. It's Wait. What? Stop. Just don't pretend with me, okay? That's all I ask. I don't understand. Just don't pretend. Wheeler, what are you doing here? You got the call to come on back. What you do about it? No. Who called you? Jameson. Oh, the uniform thing, you're home too, but you're gonna hear about this for a minute, okay? You got that profile on the branding iron to kill you from Dr. Soren? Burnett's been missing for 12 hours. You know the protocol. Missing persons will take the case when it ripens in 40 hours. You can't handle diverting resources, especially when some serial killers out there targeting high-profile married athletes. The force can spare a couple of uniforms and a cyber cop. After everything Burnett's done for this department? How would it look if the department appeared to be granting your husband special status? The department always grants the rich and powerful special status. Don't hold it against Burnett because he's married to me. Missing persons will take the case when the time limit is up. Meanwhile, talk to Soren. I don't want the public to think some crazy can declare open season on superstar athletes. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone must be holding a gun to his head. He would have called me or left me a message or something. What's she trying to say? That I like to suffer? That I'm a masochist? I will never give up looking for Adams. No, you don't understand me. No one understands me. Why did this have to happen to me? <laughs>
Scary. I'm trying to get the bad parts out. It's the only way. You see. We have to go. Okay, I don't. I don't understand. Are you in some sort of trouble? You can take a bus. You can go south. You like warm weather, don't you? I do. I don't understand. Hurry! We have to go now. We have to go where? Fine. I'm leaving without you. Femi! We need you to clear us for another shift. We've been working all day trying to fix a wormhole that these morons let in the system, and now they're hassling us. With all the off the book shit we've done for NASCO, we should be golden with you, right? Take care of them. Got a date with Lassiter or something? Shut up and hack, man. Now look, hopefully, if our little Adam's Intel freelancing firewall ever cracks, those two assholes will catch the heat instead of us. Yeah, and once I locate the source of the attack on Adams, I can get medieval in his ass too. Ah, I tell you what, I'll get the tickets, I'll meet you at the gate. business. Then everything would go back to the way it was. Just me and you. It's different this time, Tony. We, we can use him. He can do lots of stuff. He can help us. Oh, I like it like this. Just me and you. Together forever. Don't you love me? Now hurry up. We got a lot of stuff to do. And we're wasting time. No, this is even better. He can steal stuff off people without them even knowing that it's gone. And 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 he's tough. He can he can make people do stuff just by looking at him. Baby, he can't love you like I can. We only need just us. Now you remember how it was before I came back. You remember how miserable? 
How lonely. You don't want that again, do you? I love you. And I know what's right for us. And what's right for us right now is that you finish him off. I'm gonna see you outside. Tickets haven't printed out yet. Fem other place to go. Back for good? Is this your man? No, I just need a place to hide out for a little while. I mean, wait. Why didn't you tell me that you were in trouble? I'm not in trouble. This is just the best place for me to be right now. I mean, I need to just work some stuff out. Listen to me, I can help you if you'd like me to. But you gotta tell me what's going on. Bitch! You have to. I told you what I'd do if you ever came back! <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! I wonder what would happen if you ever came back in town. Bring it, skank! Let me finish what I started and bust open the other side of your head. Stay here was so short. You really should have killed her. What the hell was that all about? Nothing, nothing important. Come on, quick, before they reattach your arm and replace her cracked ribs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, not before you tell me what the hell is going on. Why would you bring us down here? I thought you would be safe here. Safe from what? Somebody wants to kill you. So much for your brilliant plan. We and lost him. Idiot. There's more than we know for him. She's going through living hell right now. We'll find the guy and drive the final nail in the coffin. You know, I'm only at step two. I got ten more to go. Go!
The Brander killer just sent another email to the mayor. Any new dead bodies turn up? No. This message is asking for a ton of money or else Rita and Elliot, the Tour de France winners, will die. Deadline's in 30 minutes. Where are Rita and Elliot now? At the velodrome. They're competing in a race today, of course, but units are on the scene and uniforms have them in protective custody. Grab Dr. Zorn and have her meet us there. My daughter and son-in-law don't race today. There will be consequences. My well, orders to keep the circle around. That's all I know. I'm calling the commission. This uh, sudden change in tone of the messages is perplexing. At first, the killer was seeking only ego gratification. But this demented freak sees married people as meat, right? I mean, that's why he's branding and freezing them? What's troubling me is the added element of extortion. It feeds a need for control that does not fit with the diminution of ego. Maybe we're dealing with a schizo or a split personality. That is a possibility given this new twist. I wish I had more time to form a profile. This may be our only chance to catch this freak. I'm not letting this slip through my fingers. I don't care if he's in a meeting. Get him now. What the hell is she doing here? She is her manager. Let's see her out. Wait. What are you doing? I have a right to be here. Okay, call your lawyer, honey, but do it outside. No, no, get off me. You two, please stand up. You won't be racing today. Let me just break this down for you. One, you ride today and you die. Two, you let us catch your killer and you will try tomorrow. So kindly get the officers another set of your racing suits. You and you. Try these on for size. Okay. Lester, tell him it's a go. It's a go. Unexpected and even more perplexing. Not at all like the other crimes. I doubt if the killer is here at all. I'm not taking that chance. No one gets out. The element of surprise is in keeping with the other murders, though. Lister, check the locker room. The blast might have caused some collateral damage after we lost the monitor. Hey, doesn't Adams own that place? <sighs> what place? The velodrome, wanker. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think he went in partners with that with Raj Pachinko. Really? Adams doesn't do that many joint ventures, does he? Not really. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking we may have a new revenue stream to tide us over uh, this whole Adams thing plays out. Yeah, yeah, Raj owns quite a bit of land around the Velodrome. Hey, what do you say we take a break from finding the worm's origin and uh, dip into the database, find out some intel on our new best friend Raj? Way ahead of you, buddy. I just posted an ad on the Goog and we already have 60 hits from folks interested in some inside information on the Raj there. My friend, we are back in business. Hmm. Oh. oh yeah. CQ720, here I come. You talking to me now? I won't blame you. You're right to me, man. It's just... I was so confused before, I really didn't know what to do. I mean, Tony never pushed me as hard as he did that day, and then... A man hit me, and then I had a panic attack, and then you got hurt. But this has got me thinking clearly again for the first time in a long time. It feels good. Maybe we can stay down here until I come up with some sort of plan to take care of Tommy and get you safe. I mean, if only you could remember who you were. I mean, you don't remember your wife or or what you did, or who your friends were. 
What was that? Oh, that's nothing. I can take care of that. This is my world down here. I need them right now. I can operate the console, all right? Just let me, uh, pick them up. You're mine now, sucker. Suspects is stolen unit number Alpha Bravo 7982. Track and report whereabouts move to intercept. <laughs> Punch up the tracking info. Got the fix? Engaging in pursuit mode. He's heading for the Bay Bridge. Alert the chippies to contract the airspace. CHP, contract the airspace. Block off the Bay Bridge. Block off the Bay Bridge. Got him now. Brace yourself, we're going down. Considerable stress the past 24 hours. Nothing I can't handle, sir. Any word from Adams yet? No, sir. Did you have an altercation at the velodrome today with a civilian? An altercation? Don't be coy with me, Sergeant. I may have brushed past some people, but I was in hot pursuit of the branding iron killer. I'm not talking about just some people. I'm talking about a victim's mother who's also married to the commissioner's brother. Look like you could use some sun. With all due respect, sir, what would you do if your wife was missing? Wouldn't you move heaven and earth to find her? There are only two things that matter to me in this world. My husband and my badge. Please don't make me lose both. All right, given your service, this is what I can do for you, Sergeant to the 6-4 for psych evaluation. Until I get the results, write a desk. <sighs> we gotta rest. My head is killing me. We should put more distance between you and I know she's gonna be looking for me. What does she have against you anyway? She thinks I stole her boyfriend. Tony? No, not Tony. Anyway, it's not true. We were cage fighters in the after hour circuit, real okay. bottom of the barrel stuff. And the cops came and they broke up one of our fights. And so me and Lena and her boyfriend, an underdweller, all got away. And then he takes us through the tunnels and we're hiding out in the camp. And then he starts hitting on me. And so Lena gets like 
so bad and stops me in the head when I'm not looking, cracks my skull. So the underdwellers take me top side to a clinic where they put a metal plate in my head. Then. So what did you mean to tell them? Well, uh, I don't remember. I think it was at the clinic. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was at the clinic when I got my surgery. And then I think he was a patient. Or maybe he was an orderly. I don't know. Anyway, we've been together forever. He loves me. I miss him. Why the hell would he want to kill me? I don't know. Maybe you did something to him before you lost your memory. Maybe we should ask him. Maybe I will. Okay. Did you hear something? Uh. Femi! Femi! What the hell are you doing? Shut up, Topsider. You don't have a say in this. Let me out of here so I can tear off your other arm and ram it down your throat, you gang. You're not even giving her a chance to defend herself! I said shut up, Topsider! Do you want some of this too? You lay one hand on him! You four! How many boyfriends do you have? Maybe I should just try to live a Lena! You have no beef with this man leaving me. Can't you do anything to stop this? You're treating me like an animal. Are you her man? What does that have to do with anything? You'd have the right to her body if she doesn't survive the test. You two are running together so he gets to claim you. This, 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 this test was it some sort of a fight? Lena's claiming the right to a test to avenge the ripping off of her arm. Should she have an opportunity to avenge the crushing of her skull? She did. But she didn't call it, so she lost it. Well, I gotta be with Lena then. She pushed me. I want a test. Love to, Topsider. But are you crazy? No, I'm not. I don't know the death wish. You're no shape to find anyone. Let the test begin! Any DNA results back yet? No. But the crime lab found pieces of an incendiary device in the wreckage of the stolen cruiser. What? And CITD says it was picking up an unknown carrier wave from an extra departmental frequency. Someone was sending signals to the stolen cruiser. They just haven't figured out what yet. So do you think somebody rigged it to blow up? I don't know. But the incendiary device comes from one of Burnett's companies. Burnett. God, if only he were here, he'd know what to do. Oh, what am I doing? I'm talking like I'll never see him again. It's frustrating having no leads. We have plenty of leads. Did the lab ever finish processing the blood and fiber from the gate of the mansion? The samples were too degraded. Oh, God, another dead end. How could I be so stupid? I did what anybody would do in that situation. I never compromise a crime scene. How can I ever trust my instincts again? seen her already. She's with Section 9, so what? So, Section 9. Internal security. Do you think they're on to us? They would have locked us out if they suspected something. Uh, maybe, maybe one of those alarms set off an investigation or something. So, so what? They investigate. What do you think they're gonna find? Sasha and men effed up and we fixed it. <sighs> Chill out. I mean, we're toast, we're screwed. One of the bugs fell out of his pants and he's giving off feedback. It's probably a delayed effect from yesterday's attack. So, check the other ones. Anything there? No, but we gotta replace it. Santana's still at police headquarters. Come on. Okay, chill out, bro. You really gotta calm down. Oh, look, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. What if Radford tails us? Dude, you gotta calm down, okay? Chicks like confidence. This is why you don't get any chicks. You gotta I be more confident. I have to go.
You know what? Let's do it right here. You know what I mean? Are you crazy? No. I'm not crazy. 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 I'm not No recoverable DNA from the stolen cruiser. Case closed. The Brandon case is still open. We got the preliminary autopsy results on those dead soccer players, or COD, rapid hypothermia. They froze to death. Please. And those branding marks on their necks turned us around puncture wounds. When we cracked open their skulls, we found their pituitary glands had been sucked out. The marks were caused by some sort of organ vacuum cleaner before or after they were frozen. My guess is before. I mean, easier to remove that way. Has Collier checked Rita and Elliot yet? No, but I'm sure that he'll find the band when we don't have the organs as well. Missing organs are a new angle, just like in the Thornton case. We never get after him in a Hoffman skipped town before we could nab him. Let's check up on Thornton. See if he's had any interesting contacts in us. Thornton and Dyson are in the same cell block. Pull up, Dyson. Be sure Cadman is a lawyer. But that gets us nowhere. He's only the top criminal defense attorney in the city. I'm looking for a conspiracy based on what? No, 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 no. Think about it. You've got a case of murder and organ harvesting. That's Thornton's M.O. And then you've got the cyber attack and the bombing on, on, on Adam. That's Dyson's ever. Both cases you worked on. Coincidence? So they have an axe around with me and we're never putting them behind bars. That still doesn't explain the disappearance of Randolph. Is that you, kid? I'd ask Fred to take a look at what's left of that song. Who's you? Do you even know this man? What he's capable of? You know, he's a savage, contributed nothing to you. She was mean and cruel. This man is gentle and brave and honorable. He may not remember where he came from, but he can contribute so much more to you with his kindness and decency alive and dead. Just words, they mean nothing. If I wanted to, I could climb over this gate and just take him. There's nothing anybody could do to stop me now that Lena's gone. And those aren't words. But I'm not going to. Because I need you to understand that there is nothing to fear from this man or any topsider. And why are you defending him? I thought he wasn't your man. Because I love him. Would you do anything for him? Yes. Then take him. <sighs> you alright? She is back in range. Let me know when you reestablish contact. Did you miss me, sugar? You love the meals like honey to a bear. How can I refuse anyone but you, Dean? You know you mean the world to me. You are such a good driver. Drive me across town again. I have to make another pickup in the van. I don't know how anyone could love a woman as much as I do you. Sorry, you've got to help me. 
This is the best I could do. <sighs> so Thornton still holds a grudge against me and Burnett? Until he vanquishes you, his worldview is seriously in question. He could easily recruit Dyson into the plot, given Dyson's need for structure and domination. And using Dyson's training, he could engineer the collapse of Burnett's empire. And for Thornton, using someone close to you as a tool for your destruction would be a challenge worthy of his intellect. What puzzles me is why he still hasn't made use of Burnett. If Thornton had him, he surely would make his intentions known. To get to me. That would be the cornerstone of his plan, knowing how close you two are. Undoubtedly, he would exploit the feelings you have for each other to inflict maximum pain. So you're saying that Thornton doesn't have Burnett? If everything I've surmised so far is correct, then yes. Burnett may have evaded capture, but then again, he may be unable to make his presence known to you. So my best bet at breaking this thing is going after Dyson. Unfortunately, there is the matter of your psych evaluation. I'm afraid the captain will not allow you back in the field at this point. So, this is the only real clue I have. Isn't there something that you can do? I'm sorry, but the captain's directive is rather explicit. Perhaps Detective Lister can conduct the interrogation. So, I am so close, I can taste it. This is my husband we're talking about. Burnett. Please. Well, I do have to update my database of latent criminal tendencies. So perhaps we could request a further evaluation for Dyson in my office. Let me make a call for you. We need to get some questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's what's what keeps what's wrong? Sorry, I love you. You're the best. Get away, Tony! Get away from me! Why are you yelling? Where's Tony? He's right there, you boy! God! It's alright. I'm here. Just let you finish this thing. You can do it. I love you. Lemmy, yeah. it's just me. There's, there's no one here. Let me stop it! Lemmy! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Whoa, hey, you're going the wrong way. We have a tail. Shit! Shit! Alright, calm down, man. Flip off that porn channel, turn on the rear view camera, and zoom in. Alright, what do we do now? We're just gonna have to drive to Mount Diablo and do the deed. Stop joking. You don't have a gun. <laughs> yeah, but your boyfriend a couple cars back to us. Oh, oh, so what? Like, your plan is to what? To have him shoot himself in the head with his own gun? No, oh, man. You're gonna drop your drawer, show your little gun, and he'll probably laugh himself to death. Come on, stop playing around. No, we don't have a lot of time to swap the bugs at Adams's mansion. You're right. You'll just have to show him there. But just stop playing around. All right. All right. Look, Adams has that antique gun collection, right? When we get there, grab one of the guns, go take care of them. I'll do the bugs. Me? Why do I have to do it? You're the Black Ops super sweet one. Oh my God, dude, are you pussing out? Are you serious? Oh my. God. Okay, fine. I'll do it. You take care of the bugs, but this means you pay for pizza. Hey, I paid for pizza last night. I am not paying for pizza two nights in a row. God, dude, you're such a pussy. Uh, well, well, why you know should that? I have to pay for pizza two nights in a row? I mean, do you think that's fair? I don't think that's it's fair. It's because you're a pussy. No, that's that's why. Uh, yeah, is it not if fair I that I always have pizza, to drive? One night, you pay for the next. Your friend just had a stroke caused by a faulty cranial implant. We removed it. Was she gonna be all right? It's too soon to tell. Can I see her? Uh, just for a few minutes. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me. She's also got a burn on her back. We picked it up on the scans. Does your friend have insurance? I don't know. 
What's her name? I'll look her up in the system. That's fine. Is that a first name or a last name? Nothing. Well, we can only treat her for up to eight hours. After that, we're gonna have to let her go. We will not be able to speak to Armand Dyson today. His attorney has blocked us with a court order. Damn it. I know I can break Dyson. There must be some other way to get to him. Your tenacity is admirable, Lupe, but I see no alternative. I'm sorry. Thanks anyway, Sora. I expected the prototype to last much longer than this. This delay has been a nuisance. We need Adams. Upload the coordinates from the last unit and send an android to track him down. Aspirin. Excuse me. Look like that a uh, bridge guy that went missing. DNA confirms it. What happened to you, Mr. Adams? Non responsive. Better do a brain scan. Wheeler to scan that Android's processor, see if we can trace it back to the source. What about the captain's order? I'm the victim's woman. I have a right to be there, don't I? But we're still on duty. Okay, you drive then. You're escorting the victim's wife to the scene. They say he has some kind of head wound, but that he's not seriously injured. 
Mr. Lift. Burnett? What's wrong? Look, my name's not Burnett, okay? I, I don't know who you're looking for. Would you please excuse me? Thank you. Sergeant Lupe Santana of the San Francisco Public Protection Department. I'm very sorry about your friend. Can you tell me about her? What was her name? So, just Femi. And how did you meet Femi? I woke up in an alley and she was just there. Do you know where this alley was or how you got there? Look, it was downtown somewhere, all right? There's a lot of fire trucks. I, I, I don't really remember. Do we have to do this now? Well, you want to catch whoever sent that android after you and whoever is responsible for the death of your friend. Her name is Femi. Femi. She said someone was trying to kill me, right? But she didn't know who. Well, how does she know that someone's trying to kill you? I don't remember, all right? The doctors can help you remember if you just let them. Look around the room, alright? Look at my neck. It's obvious that somebody wants me dead. Can I show you something? Sure. You made me feel happier than I've ever felt before. Why won't you come back to me? We, we loved each other. We loved each other? We lusted after each other? We needed each other. I still need you. I just... I don't know you. But the doctors can fix that. I can give you your old life back. You've only been gone for 36 hours. I mean, was that time that you spent with Femi worth throwing away everything that we have together? She's gone, right? There's no reason to be jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm mad. I'm hurt. I'm hurt that you wouldn't make this small sacrifice for our relationship. I just... I need you to understand that she's all I know. Since I woke up in the alley, she's been by my side. She's taken care of me. You... You expect me to just throw that away? I need you, goddammit. I need you right here, right now. I mean, are you trying to tell me that that ring on your finger doesn't mean anything to you anymore? Because I'll bet you it meant something. Wheeler said the android was army surplus, sold to a Canal Street job lot or bought by somebody who listed the Arkham Foundation as their employer on registration. Our unit's en route. Sergeant, I'm glad you could take time out of your busy schedule. Modern medicine, I think I could do with a little passion. You're still in uh, shape for that. Well, have him give me a pill. I gotta get to the panic room. 
Um, I've got data to restore. My company's run. I've got these rags to change out of. and concentrate on the upcoming auction. Yep, I suppose so. <clears throat> wait, wait, I can still get Adams. I'll be right over. Bye. Fatalities? One guy managed to climb out of his car before the explosion, and the other driver didn't make it. The address for Arkin was a mail drop. I did manage to access the database on applications for prison visitors. It's another name for Dyson other than Cadman the Attorney. Orson Ark. He works for the National Security Authority. You work with Dyson? His dossier is classified. The only thing I could gather is he works for the Cyber Security Authority. Cyber agents. That's how he could get his name off of his walls. I need you. About them? No, not that. I need you to hack into the National Security Service. All right. I get Ladies and gentlemen, a demonstration of our wares. Again, because of the positive neural mapping of Adams in the subject's brain, he cannot be attacked. Ah, make me proud, sugar. Our serum, derived from the glands of six superstar athletes, has augmented the subject's abilities far beyond those of ordinary men. Our neural chip bends the subject to our will. The bidding will start at 500 billion gold ounces each. Thank you. In another demonstration of my wares, you will now win this prison break from the maximum security facility. <laughs> Thank you. Orson? You know, I would like to 
tell you about my plans, but, uh, you know, I mean, for the sake of posterity. You got a pill you designed to drug? You're nothing but a pusher. Oh, sugar. You know what would really make me happy? Shut her up. Yeah. What you say? I can't hear you. What am I? What the fuck am I? <laughs> it's enough. Uh, thank you, sugar. That'll be enough. <laughs> you know, I am sober now, sweetheart. As a matter of fact, I'm supposed to call my sponsor, but I'm gonna wait. You know why? Because I want to watch the look on your face when Orson here gets done torturing the hell out of your goddamn husband. Orson. <laughs> Randolph, shit! Randolph, over here! Oh my god, what's wrong? I can't see. I can't see. Dr. Soren, that's a DA. It's got to be a good answer. Now, Dyson feels that once word gets out of Orson's unity off the Portal Nasco leaks, he will become the target. That he only trusts you to guard Orson, that you're not reinstated to your eval. So, Jameson's lead. You and Jameson hold Orson and Kiyokato to the FBI line. Otherwise, we find you unfit for duty. And I take your badge and gun. Am I clear? It doesn't look clear. The next scientist will handle that. Maybe the implant can save Adams now. Let Nasco deal with Orson. He will pay for his killings. We should keep road that much. Your sense of justice is worth keeping Adams in a coma. I never let him die. Just let his brain rot. She left me more than like this. <laughs> 